starts here. So, what is going on, boys? I still think it's okay, Support though. clockwork, man. I've been waiting this for years since Dignitas did it. Remember yeah, back in TI? Yeah, he was mid yeah. Darkseer. Support Darkseer. I remember that. Who played that for Dignitas? Uh, fucked. Fucked. Love it. He's fucked, by the way. He is <laughs> fucked. Yeah, no. Support clockwork is so Mirana. good because he is like the best initiator in game. Dying All you need is level ban. 6. Then you go. You just throw your body at them, you're like, yeah, and you, take you me. Yeah, but like, guys, I ganked the tank. Radiant team I tanked back. the gank. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, okay. I tanked the gank. There are no tanks in this game, Lumi, come on. A tank is when you're sitting in a lane, and you have no vision, and you're a support, and your carry is sitting right next to you, but everyone kills you instead of the carry. Yeah. That's a gank tank. Yeah. Because you're like, okay, I what just... If, what if your, ter your carry is getting ganked, right, by two, three people, and you suicide hook in? And, yeah, and, and, then you pop them, yeah. and then you die for like, yo, bro. I got you. That is a gang tank, you. yes. I think it's gonna be mid dark here though, and like a jungle, clockwork offline. That's what it I could think. be. Against Naga, I think it's really, really good. Well, mid dark here, yes, actually. Does but the thing is, in Cloud 9's lineup, say they send Naga mid, mm -hmm. okay, then you have Crystal Maiden potentially with ES Roam. That can kill a dark here. No, but my, my logic is that they're doing the air shaker thing. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the creeps have ion shell on them. And all of a sudden, Nag is like, holy shit, there's ion shells on these creeps. I don't think it's as big of a deal, like, early on, like, having an ion shell on the creep wave. Because he can actually take that creep wave and pull it into the jungle. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that farm tactic. Sure, the Dark Seer could maybe go with him, but then you're potentially running into a Crystal Maiden or an ES, you know? Dire it's really team scary. Pick. But I'm not saying it's, like, totally out of the question. I'm just saying that's, that's just my concern. Like, if you, if you push the wave that hard, you can just take your creep wave into the large camp, and then you're like, uh, I can't go in there. It's I'm just scary. stark, stark I'm, and full I'm of I'm just terrors. gonna say that right now I'm very scared for Cloud9 Shreff, because once Shadowfiend gets BKB, once Lycan gets BKB, what the hell is this line gonna do? No, ex that's exactly basically what EG suffered from last game. So I think they were just like, okay, remaining. screw supports, heroes that get far, <laughs> BKBs, right click people. Genius. It's a good strategy though. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Reserve time. I think we're gonna see a Bone Seven Batrider for the last pick. Is that it's banned? Oh, it is. Yeah, second to last ban. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Puck's banned. Clockwork's taken. Bristle back. That's a lot of Bone Seven heroes banned, actually. Yes. Nick Assassin's gone. Does he play Centaur? Actually, yeah, we haven't seen Cloud Nine play Centaur at all. I don't no. think Centaur's all that good here, to be honest. No, I don't think it's so. It's not a Bone Seven hero. Bone Seven hero. What uh, characteristics? Well, why don't we have the heroes that are left blinks. to be picked, like available? Yeah. It moves people around, like Bat Rider. Centaur blinks. Nike, uh, Nyx. Nyx Bat is Rider. Bat Rider is banned. Bristleback. Bristleback is a. Is Bristleback a Vault no. 7 hero? No. no. Bristleback oh. is actually decent here, I think. Yeah, I think so too. He's one of those heroes that applies so much pressure by himself that he could just go, like, YOLO and just run into them. And they have no <laughs> real disable except for Clockwork. Yeah. Lich. Radiant so they are really pick. favoring just winning the right click war. Now you have ice armor on top of BKBs. It's going to be almost impossible, I think, for Cloud9 to right click. Is the Lich especially made to counter the air shaker mid? You just send the Lich mid to deny the wave and you keep the equilibrium more or less. No. Just... I think the Lich is basically to maybe just go bottom, maybe jungle your Darkseer off lane the Lich, safe lane Lycan mid SF. Works just farm much five more. lanes. <laughs> yeah, just farm everything, man. Ten like, why not? Remaining. Maximize. Maximum efficiency. I mean, that would be like Five super ultra remaining. greed, but Timbersaw. like greed evolved. Oh, Timbersaw. All right, Timbersaw. Good yeah, old school. Yeah, a couple of strength heroes. It's nice. I really like Timbersaw because they don't actually have that much lockdown to cancel. Timbersaw is amazing against Clockwork. He like cogs, and all of a sudden you just go. Bzzz, Wait, but dies. if if you try to hook out of the battery assault, you're not getting out of there. No, but I'm saying in this sense that if he on you, you just kill him. Yeah, you yeah. just put the chakram down and laugh. Yeah, you chakra him and you whirling death, and then Clockwork's like, ah, I don't know, I don't know. And then he just dies. Forgiveness, please. Trust me, Tony's died that way like a hundred million times. <laughs> he like hooks a, a timber saw, and he's like, oh, I'm dead. I'm like, yeah, you hooked a timber saw. That happens. I have respect for that guy, though. He Big... man's up. He really does. You do have to respect it. 10 seconds remaining. All right, so it looks like the win rate actually with Naga Timber is 24%. Five what? seconds remaining. It can't be that bad. You could be over like, it has to be a lot of 
be 24. Does it really? Are you, are you well, a math guy? He actually has a point. Yeah. Because if it's like four games, for example, it could only be 25, 25 50, 50, 70. Yeah, 50, 75. No, I, I get what he's saying. This is some inductive reasoning, yeah. Right. Deduction. Sure. No, inductive. Nine, 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 uh, I was going to say reasoning. it could be eight, but then I was like, no, it would still be 25. Mm. This is 12 and a half percent for win or loss. Whatever, man. Whatever. Math is tough. It is. That's why we cast Dota. Well, well that's not like why that. we, Bruno and I, cast Dota, but okay. <laughs> Listen. That's I why I cast Dota. I as an inclusive statement to feel myself, or make myself feel less guilty. Okay. Okay. I'm not All right, not so. Good at math. All of Cloud9 rushing to their ancients, you know, making sure that it ain't gonna get blocked off. Yeah, it's really important for their strategy to make sure that the Earthshaker can at least get something. Are they doing the Cloud9 thing where they just drop five wars in their jungle? Yep, they're uh, No, it's Zai has boots oh. and a tango. PPD sees him. He's like, I don't yeah, want to be whatever. here. Look at that KP as well. Yo, that that is, is that the star ladder? It's that beautiful. I think it is. That is the biggest tournament prize pool. Second biggest. In the, West. in the West. Let's, not get, the let's not get overzealous here, Lumi. Yeah, I know. It's like you're holding a grudge, man. Come no, on. I'm holding a grudge. I'm just saying. They have items. Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> that's true. My computer just died. That one can't even be like a flame <laughs> yes. because it's actually true. Hey, guys, we're the biggest prize pool tournament without items. <laughs> <laughs> but we have. They're coming. Soon. Trademarked. TM. Yeah. Soon. The battle begins. So looking at the lanes, it is going to be a jungle lichen. I mean, RTC's top, PPD's kind of sitting mid, so... Uh, I think it was Lumi you mentioned the double support mid? Uh, yep. Or wait, who? It was no, it's double support yeah, mid. Yeah. It just, it, this game, it just seems so greedy. Worth? No, I think it's worth it, because if the whole purpose of the Earthshaker is to deny mid, and you have a Lich denying mid, then you're not losing out quite one, as many, much. Many and the Lich one. is, I think... Sure, getting Chain Frost is nice, but he's the least level reliant hero, really. On the team, so. Zai is like one of them guys on a boat. If you have a hole in the side of the boat, that you just stick your finger in it. Zai is the finger that gets stuck yeah. in the. Yeah, right. I know what you mean. Yeah, what you mean. <laughs> okay. I mean that's a little bit of a weird analogy, but I know where you're going. <laughs> right. I get it. I value that. He's like, I'm keeping some creeps trapped here. There are many creeps like it. But these ones are mine. Whoa. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to eat that tree, by the way. And Envy is having a real sad time. I think people forgot how good Lich is 1v1. Like, Rex. Lich just I mean, gets bonus experience for being in the lane and has infinite mana for harass, has 600 range, and I would say relative to like Crystal Maiden, decent base damage, which I guess everyone relative to Crystal Maiden has decent base damage. Shut up, Lumi. I know you're going to say I something. I wasn't going to say that. I know you were going to say something. I was going to say Lich as a core actually really sucks because he falls off so hard. Not if you got Necro Book. Well, but the thing is, he's doing it as a five, so hey. Does he really fall off against a team that's not going to make a single BKB? Because I don't think he does. Well, you have Naga to tank up a lot of delusions. I don't, I don't know, know, man. I, that's ten bounces. Ah, that is true. you got to be like RNGesus to have those illusions eat enough damage, I think, for you the illusions micro alone to be worth us. it. Micro the chip? What are you, just like illusion delta split or no, something? We were or do, wait, 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 what you do is... You control group all the illusions one direction and you walk the other. No, I'm saying Chain Frost can Bolt be my seven group. is yeah. giving out easy a bit of go for pair. Accept your upgrade, man. Yeah, we will. Accept your upgrade coming. what? Soon. Lich, you can micro the Chain Frost. Bounce uh, the way you want it to bounce. Or you, or you can give him some AoE. He's so ham. He does have AoE damage. No, he doesn't. There's no AoE damage in the bounces. That'll be OP. That would be OP. It's not a Frost Nova, it's just like an individual yeah, nuke yeah. that bounces. Oh, easy. Getting zoned up. Bone 7 with that double point into the Timber Chain at level 3. That's pretty good. Yeah. I wonder if James is watching this lane right now. He is. To get some lessons on Timber Soul. Well, it's not a Wisp, so <laughs> yeah, I think exactly. it's also not If it was uh, a Wisp, Bone 7 would already have died. Like, it just would have been over. Yeah, I see. GG. <laughs> Even worse, because he's off lane, not safe lane. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Wisp loves that. Right. But Arteezy's still farming. I mean, he's 11 and 5. And once he gets more souls, I actually think that um, if they could kill Arteezy once, it would be good. Because then, if the Timbersaw gets ahead of the SF, then the Timbersaw just dives you, right? Mm -hmm. Because there's really not a whole lot of opportunities for anyone to save Arteezy. So I think that Cloud9 realized that. And now they're just going to actually transition top with their Earthshaker, start pulling, and then uh, just go for maybe a dive. Oh. Arrow, oh, going to be off the mark. No. Now he's going to get some battery self damage. Universe is here as well, has the Ion Shell on. Even on. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, shit, Kong? 
Okay. Yeah. That was a really, really long range cog. Zai is going to get surged forward. Same style as Leap, though. It's an orb of venom on this clockwork, Please man. Leap. He's just right. bapping people. <laughs> Artesis oh, oh, is well. gonna Don't die. Oh, oh, he's, he's, he's got yep. the. Yep. I told you to stop getting blood on my so, legs. one to one. First blood, though. Going the way of, uh, of EG. It's the poor clockwork, man. Doing work. Clockwork with an orb of venom. Yeah. Crystal Maiden already has, like, 280 Problems. base move speed. Yeah. You could hit with an orb of venom on top of that. She's not going anywhere. It ain't great. Yeah, it looks like uh, we're gonna see a little bit of gank attempt on the mid lane. A Nova Blast. Uh oh, here it comes. Nova Blast. The Cox is gonna be on top. Zydo taking a little bit of damage. Envy trying to group with the Illusions. The right clicks. Oh, oh, he's got Envy. Envy's gonna fight his way out of there. He's got rip time. Two seconds. Oh no! Don't get pushed. No, Envy. He wants to go back oh, and get the kill. Envy man. Oh, 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 e e sama. Can we sing those preaching songs? That bottle gospel, career timing, please. man. Yep. That was unbelievable. Thought PPD had enough mana to nuke again, but I guess he was just short. Yeah, he was just and short. And a sacrifice on cooldown, so they manned up, and uh, Ii Sama had no mercy. Amen. By the way, A guy's dead because he just. Yeah. <laughs> no, they no, want to get our universe. No, where was the arrow? Song double star storm is gonna get him. Zai's in know. there. No. And Zai's dead. Z forward right click. Stop. No, no, no star shield. Wow. Song song, please. Okay, <laughs> let's give one for Sing Sing as well. Yeah. Okay, but to be fair, Zai could have very easily Radiant's just stood in front of him and ate attack. the arrow, and they wouldn't have killed either of them. Zai didn't plug his Like, he got that surged hole. and ran, like, off the map. <laughs> like, he was like, ah, I don't need to kill either of these heroes. He lost control here. of his hero. It's like with really Chrono confusing. with Void, and yeah. he just yeah. runs so fast, it's like, what's going on, guys? I can't control my hero. <laughs> That's actually happened to me before, by the yeah, way. Same. Yeah, I did that once to, like, I did a retreat Chrono, so I, like, Chronoed one hero and, like, ran. But I ran so fast that like I got pathing blocked and I was just going wee like back and <laughs> forth like super fast. It was awesome. So, this is when this strat doesn't work when Bone Seven's level six and if the Fisher hits on Arteezy, Arteezy is actually dead. So Yeah, Chakram on Bone Seven basically means that Arteezy needs help. Like I don't think he can stay up here alone. The Fisher at. He's on cooldown. Yeah, Bone Seven oh. has arcanes as well. He's dead. Oh, bye bye. Oh, oh, oh no! Misses. The tree's not there! Oh, seven! We thought that lantern was a tree. James is watching, he's like, yep, that's, this is a hard matchup, like, guys. That's about how well I would have done. <laughs> Freaking James. Bye. Oh, Bye. Bye. AUI? He's gonna find... AUI's just tanking the ganks, man, because here comes the song song! Radiance middle tower on the back line, the arrow, attack. sing song. Go, cancel! Oh. Bam, that's gonna hit on RTZ. Nova's on two. Universe. Oh, Chain Frost, though! That Chain Frost is gonna bounce to the neutrals. It's gonna... That's, that's it. So that's so it. <laughs> that's it. And Zai, though. Zai's on the Dyer's run. Sing Sing's gonna get the right click. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the flare miss. All right. I was gonna say, it's gonna come back and kill everybody. It's such a letdown, Chain Frost. <laughs> Dyer's well, top kill. tower is under attack. Hashtag worth Zai for Envy. Yeah, true. Highlight like Die misses the fissure. If he was 1400 range, I'm just saying. Arteezy's out of mana. He needs to be careful. Bone 7 doing quite a bit of damage here. A couple of auto attacks. Arteezy, oh. Zai's here as well. Bone 7 wants to turn around. Arteezy has mana for one more raise. One second. Oh. Too easy. PPD though, ensnared mid. Gonna be going down. Frostbite. Looks like how he gets the kill. So 7 to 3. Cloud 9 lead during the early game. I want to point out though that as well as the early games going for Cloud9, the we still have to keep in mind, yeah, the Lycan hasn't been touched at all. And then we have an SF who, I, I mean, at some point he's going to get a BKB, right? Like we're assuming he'll get a BKB before the game ends. Yes. Then the Timber Saw, the Earthshaker, and the Crystal Maiden are pretty much non-factors. Yeah. Unless during, they go during that 10 Ooh, Bone 7, though, after the Fissure, can he not Dive miss the shot from? No, Bone 7! He's got chained right now, but here comes the TPs, and back they go. Bone uh -huh. seven. I feel impressed. like he doesn't. I feel like he doesn't play this hero that much anymore. But he wants to go back in anyway. PPD's here though. Whoa. One raise doesn't even need the second. Arteezy gets himself another kill on Pilot Dies. Like I'll sing tales of your valor. Dyer's Meantime, Universe gonna eat a double Star Storm. Sing Sing. It's his fourth kill of the game. You make a fine I don't know, man. Shoot that top arrow, lane. Hit arrow. That top lane for Cloud Nine should be dominating hard. Arteezy should have zero and three and no CS. He should, he should actually have literally, have literally no creep attack. kills. Yeah. Maybe 10. Maybe 10. Maybe You'll 10. Give him 10? 10, will you? Okay, let's be honest. Maybe like 15. I think... All right, Andy, you got me. 17. 17. Okay. 
Okay, 17. <laughs> we found the middle ground. 17 CS. I it is a bit of an awkward start, though. We need to continue applying this type of pressure, though. That's the thing. Like, Cloud9 can't ever let up. Yep. Because the same thing is going to happen to EG. Or, uh, excuse me, Cloud9 in this game will happen to EG against Empire. Is that they're going to forget about the Lycan, and they're going to be like, uh, oh, there's a wolf, and he kind of hits really hard, and our towers are dead. Well, they are doing a smoke gank to the bot lane. Pilot, I fear please don't block off your team. Oh, Universe. universe. They okay, blocked off that actually blocked off, but he still takes damage from the Timber Chain and the Chopper. Okay. There's the whirling death. Universe just like, take my life. PPD with the casual oh, teleport into the whole team, uses his nuke instead of his ult. Envy, though, the runs to the... Bottom tower okay. under he doesn't have raises left. He's used them all. All right. Envy's got song in a couple seconds. Yeah. He's thinking about it. Pilot Eye's got a Fissure in about five mana. Oh, man. Arteezy doesn't... Oh, he's there! Ooh. He doesn't know he's there! Ooh. He's gonna get eaten alive! The damage! Oh! oh. You have Dyer's bottom tower. C9 are playing really well. Yeah, it's it's a lot of coordinated stuns into very dead, squishy heroes. Dyer's I think that's something important to keep in mind because tower. even a, like a clockwork and a lichen against a timber saw, your your health counts for nothing. Like you yep. just yeah. you explode, man. Provided if the suns hit. Yeah. But when they get their BKBs, <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. Is like. If they do get BKBs, game becomes a little bit hard for Cloud9. But Cloud9 are playing it well enough to Radiant's the point that hell, maybe the BKBs attack. are so delayed that it doesn't it matter. It becomes a game losing item. Yeah, it could. It could, man. It's happened to me in the past. I've been in SF games where I've been so far behind that making a BKB makes me lose. Man, hurts my soul. I think when that happens, you just go Fata and get a go four staff. Four staff, staff yeah. Four staff, Deso, and just never look back, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Never look back. It worked. So, well, it kind of worked. Radiance bottom for a while. Tower it didn't go 79. Mason has Vlad's on a medallion at 10 minutes. And a smoke, and which a means smoke. times to go wrong. Yeah. So I just want to point out that if you're jungling Lycan, you should actually go for the medallion first because it, it speeds up your farm rate much more than a Vlad does. Yeah. Uh, provided that you're not getting ganked, which he didn't. Yeah, luckily for Mason, uh, the rest of his team are eating all the ganks. They, they tank the ganks, man, <laughs> for, the, for the carry. That puts a lot of pressure on him, though, because, I mean, that Naga Siren already has 2,600 gold. I'm going to the uh, Arteezy rate of farm, though. Only Arteezy gets in 12. I'm just saying. Oh, Arteezy, please don't buy Midas when you're this far behind, friend. No, man, come back Midas. He bought a Midas, yeah. Yeah, I know he did. That's why I was, like, don't look asking him not to. Close your eyes. I was, I was hoping in my heart of hearts, you know? I think it's a correct, I feel, I feel. correct item, man. You agree with the Midas? I agree with the Midas. Okay. They already lost the early game. Might as well just secure the late. Play for late. <laughs> is, is there ever a time where Midas is the wrong choice? It's like, if you're winning, well, might as well get a Midas. No, 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 no. Recovery Midas. If you're pushing, like, super aggressive pushing lineup... Well, Guess actually, what a Midas do? It eats a creep! Yeah, one less creep in Push the way. Push faster, man! Force for everything! Dyer's actually, I was gonna say, but Ronsky's had two Midas today in the win against... There you go. So, yeah. Here comes the smoking up on the top lane. They have the burst damage coming out from the timber, but on the other side, there's a hook shot, there's a chain frost, so it can get very dangerous. Oh, there we go. in the gank. Uh-oh. Are you guys gonna dead right from the get-go? They're gonna go... No! The cook got slowed down. The chain frost's gonna be bouncing Dyer's left and right. That's a two-for-one trade. Attack. But here comes Envy. He has a song if you want to sting it. He's quite low. You can dance well. if you want to. You can, can leave your friends, friends behind. behind. Dyer's bottom I tower is under attack. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, that's the no. wrong. PPD. And a chance of face. Oh, he actually... What? What? Oh, oh, okay. Okay. All right, Envy. Apparently somebody installed that guy range hack. He wants to fight. Pilot die with the big jukes. No big deal. Wow. Just walk what a play. The trees. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, he's got the Nike shoes. He just like literally walked around the trees without any like. Yeah, but if he was wearing different types of shoes, then yeah, haired. He can do that with a nerd short Jordan. Radiance okay. bottom tower is under he attack. Nike, oh, oh, sing song here on the mid lane. Zai, double star storm. Not even necessary. He got blocked by the illusions. Damn, what a player. Your hopes. What a player. Seems pretty good at this hero. Arrow. That's why a lot of teams ban it against Radiance bottom yeah. tower is Seven, under zero, attack. One. All bot lane song into Dyer's triple rainbow TP. You oh, see right, the double rainbow? rainbow? I see the double rainbow, guys. Please fight. <laughs> All right. Mason is so dead. Oh, oh, he's got yeah. his ult. Y'all Sing Sing is walking back for the know, arrow. He needs to block the path. Arrow. Oh, where's the arrow? Oh, he's yeah, got his wait. Bang. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you skill and snare against the Lincoln. structures are He's level 11. Got a 10, man. I thought you said Oh, yeah, never mind. He's not be the one that... No, Arteezy's... Wait, no, Arteezy was the one who got yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. and Envy, and Envy usually be the one... doesn't get it. Yeah. 
All right, man. The All right. reverse, though, guys. I'm, I'm lost. What game are we watching? Watching EG versus Cloud9. Radiant's Nine. top tower Thanks, is under attack. That's why I, I saw here. I saw it in your eyes, and I, as I told you the name, it lit up. It's like, nice. Oh. Uh -huh. You versus Cloud9. My purpose in life has been restored. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Oh, wow. is under oh attack. man, anti-clock. Yeah. For, for AUI when he gets yeah. trapped in. Because the battery assault, if it hits you at the right time, your timber chain gets cancelled and you're like the saddest basketball robot in the world. You just fall apart. <laughs> is he a basketball robot? That's what I call him. Right. I mean, the clockwork is the pots and pans robot. And the timber is the, the basketball robot. Do Why is he basketball? Flare. Is he like round and orangey? Is it? Oh, he's just round. Okay. <laughs> and he's the orange color. Like, his bone seven is orange. Why did a mm -hmm. bowling ball? It seems like a bowling ball would do more damage than a baseball, basketball. I don't know. Have you ever been hit with a basketball, man? Have you ever hit with a bowling ball? Your bowling ball hurts way more but than But it, it, takes, it takes more to throw it. Dyer's That's like a, a basketball, you could like attack. bounce it up into your face. But he doesn't bounce. He does. He bounces between trees. That's not what bouncing I have like a, a basketball thrown at my face. Like, not intentionally. Like, we were playing. That's what you think. And somebody passed it to me, but I wasn't looking. The face pass. Yeah, the face pass. And I was like Dyer's five, six feet away. And it's just like, boom, attack. right in the nose, bleeding everywhere. T1 oh. tower? I don't know if you want to go for that one, Cincinnati. Yeah, he's nah, he's, he's got leap. He's fine. Power, though, he wants a tower. Oh, oh. That's dead. Okay. No, that's dead. That doesn't destroy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't destroy. That's Dyer's 900 gold to the PPD. But power secure, though. Worth? Maybe. Worth I don't know, man. <laughs> Not worth. 900 gold, I think, is about how much the tower he gave the team. Yo, here it comes. Oh, oh, that's not a block. No. Oh, wait, it's a block. What the heck? What? That is... Just casually running away? That did not look like a block. He needs to go on a diet. Yeah, seriously. Arteezy, really low health. Oh. He actually gets hit by the chakra. But he's here, one. though. No, oh, mode oh, 7, seven. the feed. Oh, his corpse timber chains to the tree and explodes into a thousand pieces. How devastating is Third that? Third time. Where it goes, hey, RTZ, here's a charity. Heard you're not farming that well. Here's some gold. <laughs> you want some soul? Radiant's top farming. tower is under attack. Yeah, I mean, to be totally honest, like, giving RTZ Dyer's those kills is, uh, tower is under attack. not the best way to win. Radiant's upon Yeah, Naga. a very, very good ward here from uh, EG scouts Radiant's out that there was a TP from Sixing, and they see the rotation from Cloud9. So normally there will be one or two heroes sieging that tier one, and they'll get picked off, but uh, not, not due to that ward. Because due to that ward, they're not going to get picked off. So we're looking at basically like a three core versus a three core. And outside of Cloud9, oh, man, it's, yeah. it's Envy, Sing, and Bone7, right? That's the three core. Mm -hmm. And then EG have the Lycan, Radiant's and then you have SF, and I guess attack. Universe. Yeah. Well, PPD is the one who is getting a lot of farm. He's level 11. So we're talking in like those cores and what the impact they're going to have in the later stages of the game. I really still feel like EG have a good chance because they haven't really punished the fact that Arteezy's gotten a Midas. In fact, they've given him kills since then. Invisible. Okay, they're going to kill him in, though. Arteezy. Dyer's he's going to no, PPD. He's going to take the gank. PPD is going to change for us. Sun pulled up for 30 seconds. Here comes a hook shot from the side, though. It's going to be a solo echo slam from Pilot Die. He's panicking. It ain't great. Arteezy gets another kill. They're going to be able to burst him down here. Chakram comes out. Kill going to bone seven. Timber Chain going to be off the mark, but I think Zoe dies anyway. Well, the song actually just... They want to. They want to. Yeah, they want to. They throw out the arrow right after the song ends. Contact is made. Cloud nine. They get three. Jump, 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 jump. More importantly, they get Arteezy, right? What? Don't laugh at me, Shane. No, it was just the way you said that, and you looked at me. I went like four William Shatner. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> Start at five, two, one, dot six. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Mason's just been amazing. Mason Fisher, 1300 range, and Snare's gonna be there. The Fisher's gonna be there. AI, you can see him galloping. He's trying to run in for the frostbite. The wall of a CM, boys. Is it really a gallop? Dyer's no, it's more like a truck. It's gonna run away. It's oh run no, out. Bone 7, force that to CM, please. No, there's no way. He's way out of there. Oh, uh. Well, you think. He tried his best. Wolves gallop or truck? They gallop. Four legs, right? No, no, gallop is a horse. Yeah, yeah gallop, gallop is a horse because it uses its whole body. But Pi is about to go down. My solo killing supports, boys! Support clockwork! I like that one. The fish is so bad. <laughs> you are By the way, that is like... Oh, it's the worst. As, as somebody who doesn't play a lot of her shaker, I still feel their pain. Yep. Like, the Jakiro is the same. Well. In Lashrak, yeah. yeah. He does like, I wanna st- I wanna st- I wanna st- And then you die. You can read it. It's like a really bad hip-hop song. Yeah, I wanna- st No. 
It's like the Spice Girls or something. If you want to be what? my lover. Yeah, there was a part in the song where they did That's that. That's a good song. No, it's not. Have you ever heard it's the lyrics? It's really catchy. Have you heard the lyrics? You just sung that one bar and I, I was like, hey, I heard that on the radio before. Which Man, is in, a rarity. In the late 90s, like. Yeah. Hey, video killed the radio, so I remember that. Yeah. He's just like totally oblivious. I, I, I try so hard. That was an easy one. That was an easy one, like MTV, VHS, I love the 1970s. That's Dota. Yeah, Dota's happening, but I mean, we just saw a bunch of kills and... No. Well, I think the low. more important thing is that these wards coming out from uh, EG oh, is completely oh, scoping oh, out. Geez. Okay, there was a no, ward right there. I was just gonna say, man, these wards are really good. They're really good. Sure. Moonlight that Shadow. Please. Dyer's Please sing, sing song. Moonlight attack. Shadow. Hey. Should arrow. Does he wait for arrow. Leap or does he TP? Oh, oh. shot misses. Just barely. I like Zion's up here. Zion's no mana. They have no reveal. They can turn it around. Yes. There's gonna be another arrow. They're gonna actually go for another kill. Wow. Can't hold up here. Wow. Comes the buzz. Side hits on PPD as well. Both seven going totally oh, happy. Oh, though. He pops the mech. PPD used the, use the chain frost on a single hero. Oh, and oh, here comes the. Dyer's here comes both seven. He's got a four staff. He can use it whenever he wants. Gets one kill. Vacuum massage. Still got the four staff. Both seven. You have it, man. You have it in you, and he TPs out. What a player. What a player. And this is exactly what they need to do, because if you look at the go graph, they need to get kills, Radiant's they need to push towers. So attack. far they have not been doing that. They only got the tier ones, they needed more. I feel like that was um, a step in the right direction, to say the least. How did he get caught? Arteezy, though, he had a ward watching Dyer's the arrow. Tower. Because the arrow, somewhere else. I think the arrow came from like an angle that where it got Radiant's to the tree line, he could no longer see it. Denied. Or maybe he just wasn't watching that particular spot. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's easy to say that yeah you had a ward there, but when it's not an actual hero, you can't see it on the minimap. So if he's not, if he's just like clicking somewhere else in the woods and he's not looking, then the arrow can still hit you. It's it's yeah. like not really that far fetched to think. But he's got a BKB now, so, and book is also done on the Lycan. I mean EG are being consistently pressured, but they still have two heroes in the top five farm. Bone Seven's like barely ahead of Universe, and PPD actually has a decent chunk of farm too and experience because he was mid. So even though they've given away quite a few kills, I don't feel like EG are totally out of it yet, but I do feel like Cloud9 have a, a pretty oh. distinct advantage. And yeah, yeah, that arrow just faded his universe, was casually walking by. Really yeah. the one, though, who is struggling the most is, um, is Zai. He's one in seven. He's not having a great game. Yo, man. He's tanking the ganks. He can nearly has blade mail. That's not too, too bad. Yeah, blade mail against Timber is strong, because you can just go in and be like, if you kill me, kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like saying if you die in the game, you die in real life, right? Like, it has that same effect wow. to it. That's a bit harsh, though. Yeah. I, probably oh, wouldn't, I probably wouldn't play Dota, to be honest. No, no, definitely not. Mm -hmm. It would be a bad game to play. <laughs> Here comes the smoking on the mid lane. No blink dagger on Pi just yet. And the entirety of EG's right there, they're prepared for this. There's a song on... Oh, Envy, turn off your blade! Jesus. I don't think they notice. They don't even care. They're paying the hell out of it. Oh, Pilot died. Oh, they just yeah. ended the pit. I think they'd be waiting a little bit longer to help, but no, they're blocked! They're blocked in universe oh, and Macy can't died. get out! Here comes the song from Envy! Uh, Arcane okay. still has the BKB, he can choose to re-engage us uh, if he wants to. Envy just getting casually hit by Rocha. Arrow, that's gonna hit! They're gonna go it's on Mason! Mason blown up, vacuum back in the wall, the Arcane oh, that's gonna hit on everybody, and when I say everybody, it's just one person. Sing Sing, low, he's gonna get earned back up, and you can see Arcane trying to right-click, but they don't have detection down. Do they have four staff available? They could actually go in and bite Arteezy, and that would be the, the it. And Scare's gonna come in. Arrow's gonna get tanked by a wolf, but they do kill Arteezy. Chain Frost block blocking left and right. PPD's low. Zai's low, and Arteezy on the background. <laughs> oh my god. Take me too. Wow, okay, man. well, that was a good fight. That block, though. That is a great block. Dyer's top tower is under oh, like attack. I was like, wait a minute. They can't get out. You can't leave. Oh my god! Dyer's top oh, tower is under attack. Yeah, I know. I, I clicked on that link because they posted it in chat when you guys were talking about it, and I was like, <laughs> they're eating her. Dyer's top tower oh is god. under attack. And there's a casual flying his forehead over. <laughs> <laughs> what a clip. What a clip. Uh, speaking of Dota, actually, um, but not, Dota. Not, not, not strictly about Dota, uh, there was. Um, uh, it's an article on Reddit Science today that apparently violence in video games does not make you violent, it's frustration that makes you violent. There so you it's go. not because you're playing a violent game you're going to be like, ah. It's because you're shit at the game that you're playing. Pretty much. Or... But isn't that like the whoa. same with most things? Please, please. I think a lot of people that are good at the game get more frustrated than people who... I can attest to that. Mm. So... 
There was also another uh, thing where people would blame glitches and lag, yeah. even when they weren't there, just because it's an outlet of frustration to just like say, okay, it was not my fault, it was lag. I think when you're your good, coach, like if you're good at anything oh, that's like team oriented and then you have like people on your team who don't know as much, mm -hmm. it can be frustrating. It doesn't even have to just be Dota, it can be anything. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. But that was really nice. Like, yep, that seems like Dota. Seems more logical. Maybe like, maybe we're creating Not just a generation saying, of violent people. Okay, well, somebody played like Max Payne and thought it was okay to run and shoot okay, like guys. 20 people. Rush is happening. Yeah, it's happening. But I mean, this thing dies instantly. They have a they medallion. Have Oh, has oh, to way too fast. Who takes it? Do you not know, think Arteezy is a good candidate for it? Here? Uh, he could be, but I think, honestly, it's really hard for Cloud9 to kill him at this point. Because a Radiance Naga does not do nearly enough right click damage to try to take down a BKB SF, especially when you consider Requiem also has to do damage output. So, they can't kill him through BKB. I think Mason having the Aegis also allows him to play a little bit more aggressive, so maybe he can potentially get like the tier 1 top by himself, just like stay away from the team, go for something ham. Although I guess that's kind of dangerous because if the I, Naga catches you out with an ensnare and you get songed after the Aegis dies, you could potentially die. I think the only way that Eiji lose a five-man team fight right now is if Mason gets picked off. And that's yeah. exactly what happened in Pit, right? Like he got fissured, he got chained, and even if he ulted, he was just stuck in there. So they, they took down Mason quick and then RTC did a big ultimate, but afterwards, that was it. So, um, there was, there is a couple of big items coming up for Cloud9. Blink right on now. ES. Yeah, Blink ES. Mech got picked up on Crystal Maiden a while back. Uh, you can see that Sing Sing is, you know, getting pretty big items. He's gonna have Manta fairly soon. What? Derek's here just finished. He's really close to finishing by like 200 gold. It's pretty good against like Timbersaw and Earthshaker and stuff like that. And it's a really nice timing against the Blink ES as well. Like I don't know if they know yet. I don't think they do. Just Pilot Dies just kind of sitting in the fog. Oh, arrow! Oh. Universe getting chunked. He might not have the damage, honestly. I think he does. Oh, no, I don't right. think so. He is really tanky. Is he? Bots to the uh, catapult. Even cancels. He's like, nope, I'm gonna just keep farming. Yeah. Do my thing. He's got 3,500 gold, by the way. Mm -hmm. He is getting some gear. I mean, right now, I don't think he can handle the SF, but maybe another item and he can. He's gonna try. Well, here he comes. RTZ not popping the BKB. Just right clicking. I think RTZ needs some lifesteal. Uh oh. Can you handle this? BKB. The BKB's there gonna get go. forced out. Take it's on a block. I think I, like I should re engage though. this. Chase, chase. I like them. that they forced it. Yeah. BKB charges on SF are crazy important. Like, if you get to a point where you have a 4 second BKB, that's basically only allowing you to use Requiem. I, I don't think sometimes he's even good to use a Requiem. No, Link Fissure here on the PPD. They're driving them away definitely for this tier too. They have Song for that positional advantage. And we haven't used it for a while, but I wish Envy could spend his gold. Uh, it would make Dyer's this push much easier. If is under what does he go, Manta, I guess? Mm. That's like the standard, right? Yeah. Like drums after the Radiance into Dyer's Manta. Structures are fortified. Are fortified. EG seems to be defending. Bone 7 just going to tank the gank oh, on the front line. The only oh, God, you you do. Oh, universe, no. I guess if you go for PPD, just get clean kill. Yeah, you're always gonna hit. There's no BKB on the SF either. I was gonna find a second card. Echo Slam on RTZ in the back. They want to try to go for him. Zai is completely at an end at this point. Really can't help anyone. Universe actually gets a vacuum. RTZ dies eventually from Bone 7. Long distance timber chain. Paladine going for the enchant, but Universe a little bit too fast. Now Zai on the run has another COG. Oh, and he actually goes inside with him. Yeah. COGs are so fickle, man. Like, he was so far he got inside the COG anyway. But I think meanwhile, Lycan was not in that fight at all. Maybe that's why they're losing it. Didn't have a TP. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully he can get out of there. And Stair's going to hit from oh. long range. Oh, oh, level one in Stair. There's no way. There's no oh, way. Oh, he's actually going to turn there. Kill <gasps> oh, that creep. Oh, kill the Radiance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or kill the Necrobook. So much gold. Uh, Worf. Run, run. Okay, he goes into fuck. Uh, um, um, he has Song right now. He doesn't have anybody else with him, though. He's alone. Yep. No, so, I mean, oh, I Song is going to bait die? somebody from. He has Blink. He needs to block. He has an Ensnare. He has an Ensnare as well. He can Ensnare again. Yeah, okay. He's dead. He has Aegis. He's going to die oh, a second he's, he's time. He's dead twice. Yeah. This is... Now you block him. Now you block him. He's always on the way. He's pretty far away, though. The Hulk, though. The Hulk's going to hit everybody. The fish. Yeah, they're going to get him down quick. That Aegis did absolutely nothing. Mm. That was a fish. That was a fish. Why would you go farming the jungle? Yeah. He liked to look at him. Like, well, yeah, I was greedy, but I don't know. I would have at least like liked to have seen him farm the camp closer to the river. You know? Because that camp is a little less obvious. 
and then you just run away, like to the he right. He saw Envy chasing. He saw Envy. He had the Necro book yeah. being chased. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Maybe he just thought that he was fine because he didn't see the ES. Maybe. Oh. Like clearly he didn't see the ES. But you couldn't have seen the ES. But still, it's like there's a song. There's a lot of things. I'm, I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, man. Do it. With I'm just saying. Sometimes look. it can't be done, man. Maybe. Okay. So subjectively, let's say okay. Mason doesn't make that small mistake. Or you mean objectively? Objectively, okay. Mason doesn't make that <laughs> say, big thing. mistake. We have 16 kill lead for Cloud9, but if you look at the go graph, it's only a 2,000 goal lead for them. I actually think EG is very much so in this game, uh, just because yeah, they are. Their, their carries are just so much stronger. I, I think if for Cloud9 to win, they need to bail out a couple more BKB charge from Shadow Fiend or pick him off a couple more times, or they need to start getting hexes uh, and, and like bigger items. So I'm, I'm not sure exactly how the game's gonna swing. Okay, here's a question Dyer's for you. Bottom tower what happens in this attack. game, assuming things go more or less this way, meaning Cloud9 is in a slight advantage, when the Naga Tyrant gets six slotted? Is that an inconvenience for EG, or can they deal with that? In I think they can deal with it. I mean, between Lycan, like, I, I think in this game, they can get away with going MKB, like RTZ and Lycan both can, because really, the SF already has a BKB, and if you just go BKB and damage items, I still don't think that knock can really kill you that fast. You were know. saying that the SF needs lifesteal. Well, look yeah, at he can go lifesteal. Or he can go, like, just pure damage, too. There's, there's two ways of doing it. I actually don't think it's going to be up to Envy. Uh, the Shadow Fiend. Well, I mean, Shadow Fiend's a big part of EG, but I think it's going to be up to Sing Sing. Normally, in these yeah. cases, Sing Sing just gets starred from farm, but because he has such a huge kill streak early on, like, he's, he's fairly farmed for a hero that doesn't have Hannah Midas, and he's roaming around with the team. So I think if Sing Sing gets four slotted, oh, he might be in trouble. He is going to be the true carry for the team. They're going to force another Dyer's BKB charge here, maybe? Down. Universe is caught. Attack. Universe is going to get chain stunned. He doesn't have that BKB. He's dead straight up, and this is going to give them the opportunity to at least do something. But they have to turn back. Meanwhile, Zai is going to get, well, Zai has cards. Dyer's top tower oh, is under attack. Oh, what a player. The duration of the cards is pretty long, though. No, he's, he's got it. Song's longer. Okay, you can walk up behind me. <laughs> the hook! Oh, oh to nice. safety! Uh, song down, boys. <laughs> uh, song down. You waited matter. a little bit too much. Do you think having the mech and the pipe all on Darks here is kind of risky? Or uh, I don't I don't, I don't think so. I well, think if you have like a 5-on-5 five five engagement, it's way too hard to burst him with the rest of his team around before he gets his spells off, right? That is true. So, Okay. I mean, I, I, maybe you can, but you'd have to get like a really good dunk, the timber to follow it up, and then snare and an arrow or something, right? Oh, DC no on the real Naga. Yeah. Echo Slam in the face. Yeah, there was no point in him BKBing there. He would have died either way. Is I gonna go for the hook move? He doesn't have it. Oh, yeah. He might. No, he doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. Yeah. He had to TP away. Oh, yeah, okay. It's only level 2 hook, that's right. Yeah. Okay, blue rune of destiny, you guys, in the top river. This could be. Game changing rune? Game changing rune. Oh, yeah, he has a bottle. Man, Mason is like, I mean, he's got decent farm, but he has had such a hard time. He's 0-3-0. Zero, and zero. In a 31-minute game, he has not been involved in a single fight. That's kind of what they wanted him to do, though, isn't it? Like they... I don't know about that. Well, I'm sure they would have wanted him to TP back at the fin top. Yeah, with the I, I Aegis think being there. Hmm. And then giving away the Aegis and the other kill for free. Here comes Envy. Double damage. They're, they're going to get a tier 2 for sure. 26 seconds to RTZ. So I think Envy just... I mean, you can obviously go hard, but I actually think attack. in this circumstance, maybe a butterfly would just be better. Like, gives you more right-click against the heroes that actually need to go down, because he's still pretty tanky, almost okay, 2,000 health. Tower Universe really wants oh, to get out nice of there. Oh, nice block again. Yep, I like that. No, he, uh, he stutters uh, his chat. And now Universe is just going to casually walk away. Get really. three, two, oh, goes for the vacuum on the high ground, can't do three, it. Two, one. But that's fine. He's waiting for the surge. As long nice. as they keep him away from TPing home, like, they're just finding so much space. Midrax is, uh... Oh. No, they're power. all just actually running after Universe. Song's used. Uh, arrow. Up. Uh, there we go. Oh, universe. Envy <laughs> just TPs up, but not even right clicking. Like, so, yep, kill secured. In the first Envy game, he messed up a lot of those song combos. Time, they, they, they practiced it. Like, yeah. he hasn't missed a single one, which is uh, pretty good. A lot of kills. I think people often undervalue just being mechanically sound on a hero when you pick it and knowing, like, what timings you need to hit, you know? Yeah. Because if you miss, like, one or two of those kills, sure, it doesn't seem like a lot at face value, but in some games, it can totally change the dynamic of how it plays out. So just being able to do things properly, Dyer's it sounds like, oh, yeah, well, Pro should be able to do attack. it on all heroes. Yeah, but there's a lot of heroes. But also, the other thing is that mechanically, it's a little bit different, for example, with Disruption, because the Disruption, if you let the arrow go a little bit 
further away, when you come back, you get hit by the arrow anyway. Yeah. 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 If you actually get the arrow go a little bit long, it will hit the hero, but not stand or do anything. Right. So you have to time it always before, which is what happened. Like, that, that's the mistake that most likely happens when you're playing that. Mason uh. getting zoned out of uh, his farm on the bottom for a little bit. Uh, Earthshaker gets a Veil of Discord, obviously for the big dunks. Do you think damage is the correct way to go, or do you think uh, they want a little bit more utility, like four staff, such? Or I think both ways are actually fine. Like having mobility to Hunt. like wait out the BKBs is fine, and I also think that having burst damage for if you do manage to catch out the heroes before like the BKB lane. is also fine. Like mid lane in snaring oh. up, he's gonna have to use Requiem. They use it up, but. Well. MV's gonna just right click him. Here comes Mason. The hook on the back line though, immediate song. They could just set up a kill on Zaya or they want no, they want Arteezy. Arteezy, no BKB. There comes a blink and they're gonna get him dead. Mason's have the right click. He does get Pilai die. And Sir's gonna be coming up cooldown in just a bit. Zai stuck with those illusions. He's in a little bit of trouble. Meanwhile, vacuum in. The wall on top, AI dropping fast. Where is the ensnare? There's no ensnare backing up, and Mason is just running wild. Yeah, looks like uh, Cloud9 actually lost that fight, even after killing Arteezy without doing anything. Bone7 with his seven. god -like. No man on PvE anyways. Yeah, Envy though. He wants to go to town on Mason. Mason, I think, is actually a little bit stuck here, but Envy just decides to retreat. He's like, no, I don't want to try to fight this. He actually got his heart oh, before this fight even started. Surge out. The jumps. He wants to get out. Fuck now you. Envy wants to chase. It's a man Two, fight. One. You, it's only a one ensnare. Ensnare. It's oh. enough. But you know Timbersaw's coming in from the back line, right? So... I don't oh. think it's enough, man. I, I think he won. That fight, if he had a defusal blade, would have got like two or three more kills. I think if he just had Max and Snare, he would have gotten more kills. Yeah. I really think if there's a like in the game, you just want Max and Snare. Yeah, for the damage up time. Like post 16, right? It's three more seconds. Like, it's, yeah. it's pretty ridiculous. It's like the best scaling, like, disable, basically. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Under attack. So, <clears throat> given the fact that EG managed to kill three there, Mm -hmm. And Arteezy died, yes. given how bad of an early game, or not early game, but like beginning of that fight went for them. Oh, I'd still say they have a pretty good shot. Yeah, Roshan's back alive, especially if they claim this. Uh, Envy's really low in terms of mana. No, actually, never mind. He's, he's oh, back. Mason, he gets stuck. Oh, oh, he oh, oh, no. 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 He's stuck but leave. he's stuck in there, though, right? Okay. <laughs> he doesn't have a TP scroll. He doesn't have a TP. He's, he's going to come back in. Oh, he got back out. What? With a four staff. Oh, here comes a song. They're going to get him second time with a rip. Time. BKB comes out. The ensnare, though, that's going to hit. And you got to just right click him down. The second hook's going to come back in. The mech's going to be there. Fisher blocking everybody off. Envy's dropping low. Envy's dead. But Gold 7 Beyond God, like, Mason's still alive right now. The wall's Zoning the entire team out. Four staff, rolling death. He no, dodges no, no, no. shock run for a couple more right click here from Sing Sing. And that's a team wipe from Cloud9. GG well played gets called, and Cloud9 remains number one in Dream League. Dyer's man, middle what a game performance, honestly. Radiant and that breaks victory. the streak, man. Yeah. The curse is broken. He Sama had mercy today. Well, actually, I guess he had no mercy, right? <laughs> he was... had mercy in Kiev. Yeah, he had mercy, yeah. but not, not in this league. I gotta say though, I was really impressed with how Cloud9 played that, and even though Bone7 gave away a couple of questionable kills to Arteezy, it was like...